welcome back my dear friends let's continue with class 10 mathematics chapter 12 now we'll move on to exercise 12.3 so this exercise is basically about using your past knowledge and your logic so only that will be required in this exercise we will not be having any new theorems or any new topics to be discussed so let us begin with This exercise from the team of Teach Nagaland. The first question Find the area of the shaded region if dimensions are given PQ and PR. So PQ is this dimension that is given, PR is this dimension which is given, and O is the center of the circle. So we are supposed to find out the area of the shaded, the blue portion that we have here. Now as we can see that since O is the center of the circle this is a straight line that is passing through the center so this is the diameter that means this portion is the semicircle of the particular circle so now from the previous knowledge one knowledge that we have is that angle in a semicircle angle in a semicircle is 90 degree so that means this angle is going to be 90 degree so let's write on first given pq equal to 24 centimeter pr equal to 7 centimeter and o is center so rq is diameter now angle in a semicircle is a right angle therefore angle QPR will be 90 degree which implies that triangle PQPR is a right angled triangle so now we have this PR given 7 cm we have this PQ given 24 cm so to find out the radius of this circle we will I mean to find out the diameter of this circle which will help us to find out the radius we will first use Pythagoras theorem in this given triangle and find out RQ now why are we find, trying to find out the radius because what we will do now here is to find the area of the shaded portion what we will do is from the semicircle this semicircle from this semicircle we will remove the area of this right triangle so when we do that what happens is we will remove the area of this right triangle so from there what will happen is we will get the area of the shaded portion so for that we will need the radius so by Pythagoras theorem longest side rq square square of the two shorter sides q square so pr is 7 pq is 24 576 centimeters square so rq square will be 625 centimeters square so rq will be root over 625 centimeters square that is 25 centimeters so in that case diameter of circle is 25 centimeter so radius will be 25 by 2 centimeter so area of shaded portion will be area of semicircle the 
area of semicircle minus area of the right triangle so I believe here one thing that we do is this small area that we have here we will be ignoring this we will be ignoring this area right, because it will be very 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 small so for that reason this area will not will be just ignored so now area of semicircle is pi r square theta pi r square by 2 half of circle area of right triangle half into base into height our base is pr and height is pq so that will be 22 by 7 into radius 25 by 2 whole square into 2 minus 1 by 2 7 into 12 centimeter square not 12 24 so that shall be 22 into 25 by 2 whole square will be 7 into 2 25 by 2 into 25 by 2 because this 2 over this are already there so 25 by 2 25 by 2 so 7 12 so 7 into 12 centimeter square so this will be 2 11s so that will be 11 into 625 by 7 2s are 14 2s are 4 4 7s are 28 minus 7s are 14 1 left 7s are 7 plus 184 centimeter square so then this will be 11 times of 65 6 8 7 5 taking common LCM 28 minus 84 into 28 6 8 7 5 minus 84 into 28 2 3 5 2 by 28 so that will be 6 8 7 5 2 3 5 2 3 2 5 4 4 5 2 3 by 28 centimeter square so again i repeat some of you may be slightly confused with from the area of semicircle if we remove the area of the right triangle we will get the area of the shaded portion but this area will this region will also be left out because we are not removing this region because why because this region will be i we will assume that it is actually very very small this particular region so that's why we are going to be ignoring this small region it will not make much difference continuing with question number two quickly find the area of the shaded region if the radii of the concentric circles two concentric circles with the same center are four seven centimeter and 14 centimeter and central angle is 40 degrees so it's a simple question so let's say outer radius or radius of outer circle radius of outer circle let's denote it by capital R 14 centimeter radius of inner circle small r 7 centimeter and central angle theta it makes 40 degree so how shall we find out the area of the shaded portion it will be simply area of the bigger sector that is formed outside sector minus area of the smaller sector that is area of the bigger sector minus this region will give us sorry area of the smaller sector will give us area of the shaded portion i repeat again area of the bigger sector that is this portion minus area of this portion so what are is left what are we left with we have left with the area of the red portion which we are supposed to find out so that will be area of shaded portion will be equal to area of bigger sector minus area of smaller sector so that will be pi r square theta by 360 minus pi r square theta by 
360 here theta is same pi value is same 360 is same so what i'll do is for convenience i'll take pi theta by 360 common r square minus radius of the smaller so that is 22 by 7 into theta is 40 as it is given by 360 into 14 square minus 7 square centimeter whole square so that will be 0 0 cancels 4 1s are 4 4 9s are 36 so 22 by 7 9s are 63 into 196 minus 49 centimeter square so 196 49 16 7 8 left 4 so 22 by 63 into 147 centimeter square 21 threes are 63 21 sevens are 147 so 22 into 7 by 3 so 22 into 7 7 is a 14 one left so there's a 14 plus 1 that is 154 by 3 centimeter square so to find out the area of the shaded portion we don't need much concepts we just need the previous we will be just requiring the knowledge of the previous topics that is areas of circles sectors segments right triangles and so on so in the next video we will do some more questions from this exercise thank you